Another embarrassing slip-up for Mikey with a smart card sent to Santa Claus. The man who received it says he can see the funny side, but the Premier isn't laughing. Melanie Davies has the story. According to Mikey, Santa has relocated from the North Pole. Maybe they should have sent it to Mickey Mouse. It's, Mikey sounds like Mickey to me. Brian received a parcel mid-January with a letter, Mikey smart card and a pocket guide all addressed to Mr Claus. But it was never on his Christmas list. If someone's probably got on the internet, as you can do, and made up a name as they would do, and they've just dreamed up a box number, and I happen to be the lucky duck. And while Brian does like milk and biscuits, he's adamant he's not the famous man in red. It's a latest slip-up in the system's far from smooth rollout. Let's just say I won't be applying for this card. It's not working and to say that I would be um, disappointed and frustrated would be an understatement. Up until January 31st, anyone could order a free Mikey card online without verifying their identification. But now the cards cost $10 and payment details must be provided. The opposition believes the Premier should have stepped in sooner to rectify the problems. He's turned his back on commuters, he's turned his back on Victorians, he hasn't acted on the warnings he's received across the board. <laughs> Freedom to travel through any zone, any time. Any time zone? What about the Arctic or the equator? Melanie Davies, Nine News.